Should men dress like women? That's the question that I'm posing today. Do you think it's okay for a man to wear women's clothing? My viewpoint, it depends. First of all, let's make difference between a man and a woman. There is indeed a distinct difference in a male and a female, a man and a woman. Our physiology is different. Our physical makeup, if you will, is different. We have on one side a male and on the other side a female or a womb, a womb man, a man with a womb, okay? We're opposites, but we need one another to procreate. We've established that. Now let's go forward with the original subject matter. Should a man wear a woman's clothes? Now, because we're distinctly different, outside of the fact that we're human beings, we're still distinctly different. There are clothing that is designed specifically for our nature. Women wear bras because women have larger breasts than men. Yes, they're both called breast. Even though we say chest, we both have chest. Men and women have chest. Men and women both have breast. But a woman's breast consists of what is called mammary glands. Now, since those hang from the chest muscle or away from the body, they need support. That support is called traditionally a bra. Okay. Men don't need to wear a bra. We're men. Our chest is built differently. Now, women wear panties. The panties typically have a cotton liner. Men don't need to wear that. Men wear briefs or boxers because men have a penis. And oftentimes, those briefs and boxers are designed with an opening so that you can use the bathroom have access to using the bathroom. Women don't need to be wearing your underwear and you don't need to be wearing women's underwear specifically. So as it relates to entertainment, we all know that Tyler Perry has a character called Madeira. Martin Lawrence has a character called Shanene. Jamie Foxx has had a character in his old living uh, in living color uh, scheme of things called Wanda. So it's okay for male actors to dress up as a woman when they are portraying a character as long as that character is not them. So should a man wear a woman's clothing? Only if they are acting. But here's where the rubber meets the road. Whether you draw the line between acting and acting out or acting in reality. How do we know oftentimes whether or not those individuals that are portraying those women actually are not gay themselves or actually don't want to be a woman? In most instances, we don't know this. So we look at it from a comedic standpoint in entertainment. I like seeing them play that character. They're so diversified. They can play a villain. They can play the role of a woman. They can play the, the role of a comedian. Uh, they can play the role of a, a thug or a bank robber or a president or what have you. And it just spans the whole gamut of things as far as what your acting ability is. And that's okay if you can play those various types of roles. And I respect that from an acting standpoint. However, I do have an issue with men dressing up as women in terms of drag queens, they would like to call themselves. Uh, in other words, when they have uh, gay pride, com uh, excuse me, gay pride parades when women, or, or I should say men, are wearing women's panties, high heel shoes, bras, lipstick, and the whole nine yards, I do have an issue and I take issue with that and I'm not going to be that one that says to each his own because there's a line that should be drawn in the sand in the sand uh, I want you to understand this first of all 
And it's hard for some people to wrap their brains around someone being totally genuine and honest with them. But I am that someone. And if you watch the bulk of my videos, you will see that I don't attack anyone. All I'm doing is bringing out certain issues and, and looking forward to some uh, feedback or some commentary as a result of my commentary. So I'm not bashing and I'm not attacking anyone. I'm going to shoot from the hip. I'm going to tell you what my viewpoint is. And my viewpoint is based, number one, on science, on the actual truth, and on logic. Okay? So it's not something that I pull out the air. I pull out my rear end and I just create this thing. So what I request of you or I so kindly ask of you is to give me your honest opinion or your viewpoint as it relates to my subject matter that I'm presenting on this platform. So with that said, I just want you to know I had to uh, preface that by saying that I'm not attacking anyone. I'm just telling you what my viewpoint is. Okay. And if you respond in kind, in a sincere way and not try to attack myself and or my other subscribers and or uh, anyone that weighs in with their comments, it's not about that. Because what that often shows is lack of maturity on some individual's parts and childish behavior. And most of those comments I will just simply delete and I just ban you from my channel. It's really just pure and simple. That's the way it is. So getting back to the original uh, subject matter of is it wrong for men to dress like women? And as I forestated, from an entertainment acting standpoint, I can see that. Personally, I can see that. But when this is your lifestyle to cross dress, something's wrong with that. Something's biblically wrong with that. So if my son or my sons were to start dressing in drag, and every time they come over to the house or every time I go over their house, they're wearing lipstick and earrings and mascara and, and women's dresses and, and panties and shoes, I'm going to have a problem with that. Do I love my children any less if they were to do that? Not at all. I love my children the same. But you have to stand for something or you fall for anything, as the old expression goes. So you have to set some standards. And those standards should not be based on opinions because opinions are personal. But when you are telling the truth, you should be able to show the individual, this is the reference point by which I get this truth. This is where I get my understanding from. I'm not just telling you something that just uh, came to my head or I just conjured up through a dream. I'm telling you something that's based on natural laws. It's that plain and simple. So again, to sum it up, if a man were to wear a woman's attire acting or doing some sort of performance, that's one thing, and I'm okay with that. It is not an issue with me, at least, until that man or those several men have a lifestyle of dressing like a woman because they want to be a woman. And since I'm on that subject real quick, I have a problem with transgenders because if God, the creator, made a male, he made you a male. And if he made a woman, he made you a woman. If a male desires a woman's body parts, then something's wrong. That individual is sick. And conversely, if a woman desires a male's body parts, she's sick. Something is wrong internally. Now you can call it hormonal changes, something that's genetic or whatever. Whatever you want to label it as, something is naturally wrong with those individuals. I have seen cases where someone has had or several individuals have had sex changes and those sex changes changed them even worse than what they were and they was in a point of depression after they had the sex change because their mind changed later or they found out later that this is not the right thing to do i.e. Caitlyn Jenner being one I don't want to have a sex change and then 
not be accepted by society. Who the heck is society to tell me anything? First of all, you shouldn't want to have a sex change because you should be happy and or satisfied with how the creator made you. If he made you a male or a man, that's what you are. If he made you a female, that's what you are. When you desire the opposite sex body parts, you're, 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 uh, you have an issue. You have a real issue. And that is something that's going to require some counseling from someone who understands life and who understands nature and not someone who just wants to write you a prescription and to keep you as a customer or a client forever milking your insurance company because they have you as a case. This is not something that's going to take a lifetime to get over. If you have the right type of counseling, you can get over this issue hopefully, and some divine intervention maybe. But you're a man if you were created a man, and you're a woman if you were created a woman. If you're a man and you want a woman's body parts, it doesn't make you a woman because you cannot carry a child. And if you're a woman and you want a man's body parts, it doesn't make you a man because you cannot inseminate a woman. It's that plain and simple. It's that cut and dry. So I saw uh, an article about a year ago where Will Smith, the actor's son, Jaden uh, Smith, was modeling women's clothing. As I said before, don't forget my footnote. I'm not attacking anyone. I'm just making reference to something that actually is true. He was modeling women's clothing. Will Smith, uh, in an interview, was trying to dress it up. Let me just tell you what I believe. Jaden Smith is gay. Am I beating up on him because he's gay? Not at all. I'm just telling you a fact. He's gay. Will Smith is gay. Many celebrities in, in the acting industry are gay. Many celebrities in Hollywood in general are gay. Many uh, athletes are gay. Many beauticians, hairstylists are gay. Is this an indictment against gay people? No, it's not. I'm just making you aware if you are li living in a box somewhere and you don't know this. It's true. If you watch reality television, if you watch television slash cable, period, you will see that we're inundated because it's become more public, more acceptable, maybe not acceptable, maybe that's not the right choice of words, but it's become more prevalent in our society these days to see more lesbianism, gayism, homosexuality, if you will, and transgender situations acted out on television, acted out in cartoons such as Family Guy and such as American Dad, these types of things that we should not be seeing in cartoons are being portrayed in cartoons. And that's not healthy for our children to be watching those types of cartoons because they actually are not geared for children. There's an underlying reason why they're even in cartoons. Okay, so I didn't mean to really rant on about that. Uh, but to bring it on home again, as long as you're dressing as a woman, it's not a lifestyle. If it's acting, in my estimation, it's okay because it's entertainment. But make sure that you know where to draw the line. This is Brother Teacher, and I'm very interested in what your opinions and or feelings are about this particular subject. Please leave it in the comment section below. And uh, as I have been saying over the past several months, if this video is of value to you, please like it, please subscribe if you would like, and share it. So long.